I'm going to talk to you about your banking job, too. Okay. Right. What do you think is actually going to happen here? On the debt limit? Yeah. Uh, it will get addressed, but it's not going to get addressed smoothly. And I think there's two options. Option one is something extraordinary, uh, reinterpreting laws and what have you. Option two is Kevin McCarthy falls on his sword and there are, you know, a, a small number of Republicans that join the Democrats in a clean vote. That is going to be a mess. And it's probably not helpful to be laying down now markers saying there have to be spending cuts alongside the debt limit increase because it'll make it harder for that limited okay, so number of Republicans. Do you believe the dates that Janet Yellen has uh, put out? There's always uncertainty, but sometime July, August, September, we have a real problem. And this is not going to get addressed, you know, in February or March. So it's just going to build and become a larger problem. Second issue is we don't have we don't have a life preserver. So fiscal policy is stuck. Monetary policy is kind of you know, going in another direction. So if there is a problem, you don't have the backstop that you'd want. That, if that's a prelude, what we just saw to the debt ceiling, this is going to be... <laughs> this could Buckle be, your seatbelt. Yeah. Do you, okay. And it, by the way, it should have been done in the lame duck, in my opinion. We understand. There was a pathway to, to, to do that. And it's, you Those know, 20 guys are, are probably extremists. I, I, I'll, I'll give you that. But how about the omnibus? I mean, the way that that's done every year at the last minute, Peter, that, that's no way to, to do anything. We had, which senator was that, Chris Coons, I think? He said, yeah, I'm for it, but I have no idea what was in it. That, that was almost a direct quote. And I don't know if I, I don't know if he meant sort to say it. Of. Sort of. <laughs> right. I don't know if he meant to say it that way, but I'm, I'm fully for it, but I wasn't really aware of what it was doing. Look, there are lots no of things that we could do it's better, but the it. debt limit is a redundant... But the omnibus, you know, as an OMB... CEO, sure, there are no, lots of things we could do better, but... but this is a redundant piece of legislation, and I don't, I, I don't think fixing those other problems should require, and, and frankly, it's really but That's why those 20 it. guys are out of their minds, because of what, what we've been, that's what they all say, because of what went on for the last couple of years. Did you, did you raise an eyebrow at anything, or? Are we going back? At, uh, to two years. Two years? The last two years. Anything? He was trying Obviously. to figure out if you were going back to, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm like, are you going back to Obama? Like, no, what are you doing that, here? I group you, you know, in with this whole previous two years. Okay. You're, you're at Lazard, but I'm Okay, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you. But let's talk about now. Yeah. Uh, in, your, in your role, it's all, always hand-wringing here in Davos. What do you think is actually happening in terms of... I think the best uh, uh, reason for hope is all the hand-wringing, because the Davos conventional wisdom is almost oh. inevitably wrong, so it does seem a bit more downcast than usual. And you know, The last we time we were here, comfort right. we were on top of the world. Top of the world. It was January 20. Little did we know. <laughs> yeah, was, the guy, the, the first COVID case was arriving in Washington State yeah. that day, and Paul Tudor Jones said there's a stuff called a coronavirus. It wasn't even named yet. Right. And, I mean, did the world not? It's unbelievable. So that's your hope? That, that's what you're pinning it on? Uh, no, it's more than that. I mean, I think that the best hope is that the inflationary process seems to be um, going quite well. We'll have an important report out in the employment cost index at the end of the month. But it seems to be going quite well. And if that were to continue, that is the best hope for the economy in 2023, because it would mean that the Fed could pivot, you know, um, sooner than it would. You're otherwise. in the business, though, of advising corporations, oftentimes on big M&A deals and mergers and, and things of that sort. But with this administration, and given what we've heard from the DOJ and what you're seeing from the FTC, can deals take place? Well, I think 2023 is also going to be an interesting year from that perspective, because uh, the agencies are reinterpreting the law. The law hasn't changed, and they've been losing. So there have been several cases where they've lost. There's some other big cases out there that are going to court that may get decided in 2023. Are you thinking of Microsoft Activision? What As, you... you know, that might be hypothetically one example. Um, and so if they keep losing, I think at some point, you know, you have to say... Do you think they've made a mistake?